The images from that day are seared into our consciousness. The attacks at the Twin Towers, the World Trade Center. A plane slamming directly into the Pentagon. Another, meant for the U.S. Capitol, forced off course by a group of passengers and going down into a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. But for some San Diegans, the memories from that day are more than images. They saw the devastation firsthand once they arrived in Manhattan to help. I was a member of the Urban Search and Rescue Team, um, California Task Force 8. I was on the Urban Search and Rescue Team. John Wood and Matt Nilsen, today an assistant chief and battalion chief. Back then, San Diego firefighters. We interviewed Chief Wood in front of Fire Station 21 in Pacific Beach, where a beautiful memorial stands to those who gave everything on that day. The Twin Towers replicated, along with a piece of steel from the real towers. Chief Wood shared these pictures of what it was like for him and all the rescue workers at Ground Zero. Days after the attack, thick dust and smoke still heavy in the air. Those of us of a certain age or older share a common experience when it comes to 9-11. We all remember where we were, what we were doing when news of the attack came. I was living and working in Los Angeles when a friend called and said, it's Armageddon. Maybe not Armageddon but a life-changing experience for the San Diego firefighters who were there the next day to help. I was um, at my home in Rancho Penasquitos and having uh, two little babies at home and then my wife and educator Shelby was um, at work. I had um, laid down because I learned to sleep when the babies sleep and she called me and said, hey, put the news on real quick. So I'm, I know everybody does remember those. I mean, I remember it like it was yesterday. Matt Nilsson was out for a morning jog. Back then, there was no cell phone coverage where he was running. As soon as I got back into cell coverage, because I was down on the beaches um, west of the Sunset Cliffs, and I got back and my wife had called and, and explained to me what was going on. And then I uh, finished my jog and got back home was watching the news. People are Wait, hold, hold on. on just a moment, we've got an explosion inside. But there was very little time to watch the news. Wood says within a half hour of seeing the devastation unfold on TV, he was packing his bags. We were, you know, packing up and getting ready to go, getting down to our, our rescue warehouse and getting ready to take 80 members um, to there, be ready within four hours. Matt Nilsson's specialty back then, as it is today, was communications. He arrived before his fellow San Diegans. He was there just hours later, that first evening of 9-11. The job of setting up equipment needed so people could communicate was urgent. I was on a forward mission and was on top of the uh, Western Union building the very first night um, that was looking directly into the pile and I was climbing up on scaffolding and installing antennas and establishing communications for a task force. Nielsen says he was as prepared as he could be for the site that would greet him in New York. And though Ground Zero was a nightmarish place at that time, he's thankful his career called him to be in that place at that moment. Everybody wanted to do something, and I just consider, I was considering myself lucky because I had a mission to do. Or at least I should say, looking back, I consider myself lucky because of something that I could focus on. Once his job setting up radio communications was complete, Nilsson joined his fellow firefighters down on the pile. There were some truly awful moments. Recovered a lot of body parts while we were there. And, and you know, you, you, the biggest thing is if um, is the smell, right? So a lot of times we're in, in horrific low light conditions, but you could smell something. And so we'd bring our dogs in. People lose sight on how important closure is. If you've ever lost somebody, you want to know what happened. Now, 20 years later, a good place to get a visceral feel for what happened is found here at the San Diego Firefighters Museum. The unspeakable loss, still difficult to comprehend after all these years. Replicas of the Twin Towers with the number 343 at the top. The number of New York firefighters lost on that day. Here are their faces. Of course, so many more people died on September 11th, 2001, more than 3,000. And the message from back then is the one hometown heroes like John Wood and Matt Nilsson still remind us of today. Never forget. John Carroll, KPBS News.